Hey, what's going on guys? Chronic Lag here today, and I got another Fallout 4 settlement video slash mod showcase for you guys today. And I have two uh, player home mods that I found quite a while ago, actually. They've been on the Bethesda net for quite a while. But, and I even forgot that I had uh, this one behind me, the Cambridge home one. And so I decided to go all out on them, decorate them. I know it's been a while since I got a video, but I've gotten some extra time on my hands recently. So yeah, let's get right into this. Alright, so once we enter the home, we come to this very small area. And this is a kind, it is a pretty tight, um living space but I did think it was pretty cool and perfect size for somebody who's just going alone through the normal game so let's get into this so as you walk in I decided to make this little monument thing I found this in Lopi's decoration kit I don't know the actual name of it I'll leave a link so I made a little uh, Brotherhood of Steel uh, monument kind of thing two posters right here just to fill up wall space these are all um, from the settlement thing, and uh, it makes it to where they're no longer junk. They don't fall off or anything like that, which is amazing for decorating. Makes things a lot easier. Right here, we have a ton of new stuff for um, all of this, really. Got a dinner table and a bar. And this is also from Lopi's decoration kit. And so are these all of the shelves and like pre war deck in this uh, house are from that mod? Over here, just something to fill up the corner, a couple chairs. We go up. So here's the top floor. And uh, here's the living space. This was really the only place I could figure out to put it that would make it kind of out of the way, but also like here at the same time like in a normal area and it's pretty simple that that and uh, stereo more another speaker an actual working radio I don't know why I put a bell there and here is the smallest room of them all which is the master bedroom so yeah you can fit a bed in here and one side table um, NCR for life got a picture of what's his name from Bethesda who's like the head designer or something but they put him on that famous painting of Napoleon got some pinup posters that is from one of the new radio mods I think it's called like old world signs or something like that I, all these will be linked in the description of course here's a little desk I made all from localized decoration kit and uh, just a bunch of random paintings on the wall. Those should be in the vanilla, not vanilla game, but uh, DLC uh, contraptions and uh, workshop. So then we go to the downstairs, which is the most interesting where I couldn't figure out what I want to do with this wall. So I put another New Vegas reference down here, a <laughs> Sunset Espresso machine, and a coffee station because you, you got to have that Wasteland Espresso, you know? And so we come down here, this is kind of the work area. So here I have a little power armor stand. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do with this room, so I put a little door here. And I made it just a little armory slash research area. These also come from Lopi's decoration. It's a bunch of institute stuff. And I'll actually open that up in the workshop right now. This is available on the Bethesda. I have Nexus on this computer. So let me... Hit. Okay, low poly's furniture pack, and it adds a ton of new things from Vault Institute and uh, pre-war. This is just walls. This is all it is. It's just walls and the Brotherhood of Steel one, which are useful in some occasions. So, if we go in here, he has a ton of like pre-decorated stuff, like a table with all the stuff already on it and stuff like that, which is awesome. And if we go in. Here he has some pre-filled out shelves that I use all the time. But the coolest part is the misc section. And here you have a ton of stuff for every pretty much anything. You can do kitchen, 
put some different food that you can't knock over. It's great. It's excellent. And some weapon racks I was too lazy to fill. 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 And I. That's just to take up some more blank space, which I somehow got a lot of in this really tight house. I don't really know why, but I figured this house would be perfect for somebody who's just doing, you know, lone survivor on survival mode. Something like that where you don't really want too much to do with companions or anything like that. And the location of this is pretty good. Let me just pull it up real fast. It's in Cambridge, so you're right across the river from downtown Boston. And that's a it's almost as centered as you can get that isn't Hangman's Alley, where you can make it your player home. I guess Diamond City Home Plate would be the next best thing. Alright, so onwards to the next settlement location, which is Bunker 13, which is right here. Alright, so here we are at Bunker 13. Um, I don't have that much time left on my recording limit because I am... I'm too cheap to buy good software. So here we are at Bunker 13. It is right outside of uh, Red Rocket and Sanctuary, close to Thicket Excavations, and right outside of Concord. And originally, this is just one little player home that's in the house over here, but he added a workshop, so I said, hey, let's build around it and make... And um, this is actually my new player home, away from it all. So as we come here, um, open up, I pillar glitched all of the fences in place, and I made this my little work area outside. There's four scaffolding towers like that with all of the top turrets on them, the top level turrets, and I just put all the basic workshops out here. He pre-decorated this garage, so I didn't have to do much here, I just put my power armor here if I don't want to store it inside. And um, so now moving on to the backyard, I decorated all of this except for the fence and the doghouse. He added that. A small little greenhouse. Um, just um, I walled this section off too. The only part I didn't wall off, wow, I'm losing my direction here, is this part. And that's just for convenience so I can just run in and out of this place. I could, I could finish that off if I really wanted to, but it's more of a convenience thing. Um, one fusion generator powers the whole place, and now we are inside, um, low poly's decoration kit for the most of this stuff, because I can't pick it up or anything like that, pre-war radio, um, a lot of pre-war decorations in here, and as we move upstairs, there's another bedroom with a dresser that has, oh wow, some good stuff in it, and um, yeah, I put the living. I had to put the living area up here. I had nothing else to do with that space. And so this house does have one secret, though. This is known as the Bunker 13 mod. And what this does is it puts a pre-war style bunker in the house. So let's get into that real quick. All right. So here we are in Bunker 13. All we have to do is open this door. Every room has a light switch. That is, an, it's excellent of the mod author to do that for us. It put a nice little turret up front just in case anybody follows you in, and boom, it is a fully furnished, fully um, organized uh, bunker. Uh, completely organized. We have a kitchen here where you can activate all kinds of different decorations that are meant for storing various items in certain categories. So here we have holotapes, books, notes, um, all that kind of stuff, your terminal. Here is the bedroom where he gives you ability to sort all of the different weapon types and every single kind of ammo. Every, all the different kinds of clothes sorted into body part that it goes on. Uh, bobblehead stands, he does have magazine racks in here, bed, safe for valuables, another dresser, he even gives you a companion's room for two companions, kind of like in New Vegas in the uh, Lucky 38. Um, just some basic uh, stuff in here, I wouldn't say necessities. Here you have your place where you put your chems and just a normal bathroom to make sense. Four magazine racks, I think that's enough for all of the magazines. More storage place for junk, and another workshop room in here where you can put weapons and clothes, just depending on where you want them. And the power armor room 
where I do have my Vim power armor. I think there is around 13 racks in here. I'm not going to count because I'm too lazy and I'm almost out of time. So I want to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.